Now let's talk about the different images or artwork files that is best suited for Image Clip Laser Dark. From our testing, we have discovered that the best files to work with are either line art, clip art, or vector art images that contain full color within the graphic, such as this image that I have pulled up here. Also remember, when you send your image to your color laser printer or color laser copier, make sure you mirror or reverse your image before you send the job through, just as you would with a traditional t-shirt transfer. Now let's talk about some images that might present some difficulty or challenges when using this particular product. First example here that I'm going to show you is what we're going to call a gradient or fill. What I've done with this image is I have set up a black, cyan, magenta, and yellow fill along with a red, blue, green, and RGB black. As far as these fills are concerned, they're ranging from 100% color down to zero. From our testing, what we have discovered is once you pass the 50% threshold and you get lower as far as the gradient fill is concerned, you may have an issue with the white base adhering. We'll show you these test results later in this video. If there's one type of artwork file that you do not want to use with the image clip laser dark process, it is photographic output. The reason is, is that when it comes to photographic output, remember that photographs are bitmap images. They're relying on a pixel pattern. If you have an image where you are expanding the size of the image, you are going to lower the overall resolution. If you try to output it with this product, you might get an image that's very pixelated. Also, what you will notice with most photographs is, with most photographs, you are always going to have some white or light areas within the photo. What you got to remember is a white or a light area with the photo, there will be no toner applied by your color laser printer or color laser copier. If there's no toner applied, there is no white base that will adhere there and it will appear as a dropout spot in your image. Again, we'll show you some test results with this particular image on a finished t-shirt so that you can see for yourself.